In this problem, we have three different forces acting on a tree sapling, as shown in this diagram that I very crudely drew. And we want to find both the magnitude and direction of force C. So we want to find out how many newtons it is, and we also want to find out what this angle is from the horizontal. So first off, I'm going to define a coordinate system. So I'm going to say that uh, originating from this point, this is the x-axis, positive, and upwards is the vertical y-axis. And upwards is going to be the positive direction for that. Now the key thing to realize about this problem is that if the tree is not accelerating, and I think we should assume that it's not since the problem doesn't mention it accelerating, and also since it's a tree, we can imagine this thing kind of being rooted in place. It, point is, if it's not accelerating, and that means that the net force in all directions is zero. So the net force in the x direction is zero, and the net force in the y direction is zero. Well now let's look at each of these components one at a time. For the x direction, let's look at just the horizontal components here, the horizontal forces. So in the positive direction there is going to be F sub A, because we can see that this is uh, pointing to the right along with the positive, the direction of the positive x-axis. And then negative, we have f sub b, which is pointing uh, kind of in a diagonal direction here, to the up and to the left. But since we're only looking at horizontal components here, it's clearly going to be to the left. So it's going to be negative, and it's going to be f sub b, and it's, going, and it's going to be F sub B just the horizontal component. So it's going to be F sub B times the cosine of the angle that it's at. So times the cosine of 105 degrees. And finally, there's also the matter of F sub C, since that is also clearly providing a force, one that is also going in the, uh, the direction to the left. The fact that it's pointing to the left means that it should be negative. So I'm just going to write this as plus FC, but the X component of FC, so FCX. And when we solve for what this is, it should be negative, since it's pointing in the negative direction of the axis that we defined. So let's take this whole equation, since again this should be equal to zero, and we'll rewrite this equation algebraically to solve for the x component of fc. So when we do that using some basic algebraic principles of adding and subtracting, we find that fcx is equal to negative fa minus fb times the cosine of 105 degrees. And if we put this into our calculator, then we find a force of about negative 262 0.1 newtons. So it's negative, which agrees with what we decided earlier, which means that this, our answer is reasonable. We could be on the right track here, because it's pointing to the left, opposing FA. Now let's do the same thing for the net force in the y direction. It's going to be equal to zero, as we discussed earlier, and it's going to be, in terms of each of the forces, let's look at that. So from F sub A, there's going to be no contribution from F sub A to the Y direction, since F sub A is entirely in the X axis. It's pointing directly to the app. It's pointing directly to the right, so it's not going to be contributing at all to the vertical forces. Then we've got F sub B, which is pointing upwards, but still at an angle. So we're going to do what we did before. It's going to be F sub B times the sine this time of 105 degrees because we're looking at the vertical direction and then plus f sub c the, whatever the y component is so once again we're going to algebraically rewrite this to solve for f c y and this is going to be equal to the negative of f b sine 105 degrees and if we put that into our calculator then we find that this has a component of about 458.8 newtons. 
So now we have both the x and the y components of the force of, of Fc. So the way we get the resultant force now is we take the Pythagorean theorem. So Fc is equal to the square root of Fcx squared plus Fcy squared. So we just take a calculator and then put in these two components in for this square root formula. And what we find then is that Fc is about 528.4 newtons. So that is the magnitude of Fc. The problem also asks us to find the problem also asks us to find the direction. So we'll need to figure out what this question mark angle is. Now, when we have two components of a force or two components of any vector, the way we find its angle is by taking the inverse tangent of the y component divided by the x component. Uh, this is the common formula for finding the angle when you have two components of a vector. But there's one very important thing that you need to understand about this equation. This equation will give you an angle, but the angle that it gives you will be between the resultant vector and the x-axis that it's closest to. So if we were to use this formula right now with the two components we've been given, the angle theta that it will give us is actually going to be this angle right here. That doesn't mean the answer is going to be invalid. It'll still work technically, but you'd need to be sure that you communicate what that angle means if you want to answer with this angle. I think I'm going to solve for this question mark angle though. So all you have to do is take 180 degrees and then subtract what you get for this formula. So if you put this into your calculator, then it should get you about 60.3 degrees. But if you want to solve for this question mark angle instead, then you just take 180 degrees and then subtract that. So take 180 degrees minus 60.3 degrees and you'd get about 120 degrees. So that means that 120 degrees is what this angle right here is. But again, we still have to communicate what that means. So I'm going to specify that this is 120 degrees uh, clockwise from F sub A. So now I think we have now adequately communicated what that angle is, what the direction of the vector is. And that's about it. That's all for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me out in future videos. If you have a question about this video, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. If you have a request for a future video or you'd just like to hang out, my Twitch page and my Discord are both linked in the description below, so check those out if you'd like. But that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.